hi guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> my name is ivy kings in this video i'm going to be telling you why you should binge watch genie and georgia genie and georgia is very interesting it's intriguing and very captivating <laughs> but is it really worth your time <laughs> Is it? So basically, Ginny and Georgia is about Ginny and Georgia, which are the main characters, which is a mother and a daughter. Uh, the daughter is about 15 years old, and the, the mother had her when she was about the same age as well. It actually reminds me of uh, Little Fires Everywhere, where the mother and daughter they were very close. Actually, they are very close. The daughter realized that the mom had been lying to her, just very similar to Little Fires Everywhere. And then there was a lot of friction, and then things actually went haywire from there on out. I like the fact that Jenny and Georgia just spoke about so many topics like bullying was discussed, mental illness was discussed, self-harm was discussed, body image was discussed and it wasn't just touch and go, they really had it immersed in the characters. I also like that one of the characters was actually deaf and it was not just like I said it wasn't touch and go like I like the fact that I don't know if they knew sign language before the the movie if that was a character for casting them but i like that they had to learn it and then it was seamlessly done like in scenes where uh, they needed to communicate with the dad who, who was deaf it was done seamlessly like as we're having conversations we're doing the sign language and it was just beautiful to see also they spoke about mixed race not only in the main character which was she her mom was white dad was black so she had this whole identity crisis of who she was whether she, she didn't seem very black enough or very white enough so that's really i have seen this play out before but they also brought in her boyfriend, which was a Taiwanese American guy who also had the same identity, I don't know, should I say identity crisis uh, issue? Or he was just trying to find himself as well. So I liked the way it was beautifully done. I also found it very interesting that Georgia Miller, which is the main character, named her children after the cities where they were conceived that it was very funny because Ginny is actually a short form for Virginia and her little son uh, was named Austin, which I'm guessing is Austin, Texas. And then this got me thinking, is this really an American series or a Canadian series? Because most of the actors are actually Canadian. I'm sure was shot in Canada, it was shot in Ontario and Toronto, in a studio in Toronto, and also the outdoor shots were shot in Ontario. So it's basically like, Canadian, right? I don't know. But yeah, they made it seem like it was shot in the United States, in Wellsbury, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> in Wellsbury, Massachusetts. If you love Little Fires Everywhere, you would definitely love the show. It is like Little Fires Everywhere plus <laughs> giving it a reason, you're giving a reason for the mother to behave in the way she did because she had a terrible upbringing, she had like deep rooted issues, and then. <laughs> man this woman is so crazy and she did everything everything for her children like to ensure they didn't turn out the way she did which is very hilarious because her daughter is exactly like her not exactly like her in some ways or they try to put it they try to point out that her daughter became like her but there's a reason why her daughter wanted to run away when she heard the truth the daughter was very upset basically that the mother was hiding things from her and then she got really agitated and just told her daughter. Georgia just told Jeannie basically the reason why she is the way she is because she was sexually abused as a child and that changed everything. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. <laughs> I cannot overstress this enough. I just couldn't believe that Georgia will kill all her husbands just because of her children like it still goes back to her upbringing she was made to grow up very fast and she wasn't like going to let that happen to her anymore like wasn't going to be held back by men anymore and she she took matters into her own hands taking matters into her hands i don't like the way she dealt with bullying like it was as if she was encouraging bullying like teaching people how to bully that is okay obviously that was done for entertainment yeah i actually wish they put a lot of like warning signs because this movie is actually or this series is actually very triggering like it is super <laughs> triggering <laughs> yeah especially when it comes to the self-harm mental illness part and body image issues because there was a particular scene Jeannie actually belongs to a clique she had been moved around all her life 
and then she finally her, her mom wanted them to finally settle in this town called wellsbury so this town right she for the first time had friends which was her neighbor basically but she didn't meet the daughter first she met the son he was emotionally unavailable but she ended up falling for him he just was very stupid but you know it was her first time actually having friends actually having a boyfriend so she was bound to make mistakes and behave very foolishly and she's a teenager sometimes you're crackers <laughs> pardon my language there was no downtime in this series it just kept going high when you think they can't top it they kept topping it <laughs> that's how interesting this series was it was so beautifully done and i like the flashbacks going back to when georgia was a child knowing that like knowing all the issues she had all the issues she had, had having uh genie with her boyfriend or genie's father at the time meeting joe oh my goodness i didn't expect it and that's the reason why she moved to wellsbury to settle down i actually thought she and joe was going to end up together but we don't know maybe that's what's going to happen in season two but well, she's actually getting married married to mayo and then her children are missing oh my god i have so many questions for season two i cannot wait for season two to actually happen because it deserves to have season two i'm anticipating i, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next to them okay what are my season two predictions i think she's not going to get married to the male i think genie is going to go to her father and then there may be a very big brouhaha she just driving alone with her younger brother austin i think uh she's gonna have a relationship with joe but i do not want her to have a relationship with joe because she seems to be killing all her husbands <laughs> but joe is actually a nice guy and i like the fact that she didn't get married to Jeannie's father it still boils down to the fact that first love is always gonna be your i don't know maybe your best love or your forever love or whatever it is they say these days i don't know but yeah that gives me that vibe that they're gonna do some more off and ons and i really want them to add more black people please <laughs> it's just a bit weird and i like the fact that it was not a stereotypical that the black person the black father had um, issues or maybe they were not wealthy or there's a reason why she grew up in poverty or whatever but no because Jeannie's father is from a very well-to-do home you could see that the parents wanted to take care of Jeannie themselves they were they were ready to do everything that they needed to do but Georgia wouldn't let that happen and I see why she wouldn't let that happen because she couldn't trust anybody with her child because of what happened to her as a child so you see this whole vicious cycle stuff <laughs> I guess that is why Jeannie also didn't want her brother to remain with the, with the mom because she realized the mom is actually a bit cuckoo <laughs> yeah and you can't go about killing everybody that hurts you it's nah that's not the right solution i honestly do not want georgia to go to jail i hope she doesn't because the investigator is actually closing in which we can see so i'd like to see that unfold also in season two those are my predictions for season two i hope you enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't all over the place. I just wanted to tell you my reaction to Jeannie and, Je and Georgia. This is not really a review. This is a reaction video to Jeannie and Georgia and my season two predictions. Please like, subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I have so many other reviews on this channel as well. I will link it in the description box and you'll see it in the cards above. Until I come your way again, have a nice day. Bye.